custom fabricator from a racing family, Josh Freeman built a complete truck at age 15 and has yet to recreate the bicycle boogie made famous in the 80s. Almost got it. I'm Aaron Kaufman, and this is Shifting Gears. Okay, John Boy, move over to the other side. I'm, I'm over. Taste um, like an old International Scout. Working on cars is an art form for sure. I mean, they're masterpieces when they're done, if they're done properly and done right. Beardy McBeardison. So working with Aaron, you know, nothing's gonna go untouched or unnoticed. Right neighborhood. Yeah. It's just too many pieces. Too many cuts. Yeah. Okay. So let's get this tacked in. Then we have a visual, a template oh, to yeah, work yeah, off yeah, yeah. what we just kind of talked about. You know, it's making sure that we we both understand what has to be accomplished. You know what I mean? We have to kind of bring them everything, just m mend everything together to, to please him. <laughs> Not to please him, I shouldn't say that. But get his input to, to, to fulfill his vision and, and make sure that it's realistic in, in being made. This one's good up to about right there. Correct. Yeah. I'm about to cut a new piece. Check it out right here. See all the hammer marks? A little bit too much, a little bit overworked. For the last, uh, I really don't want to say, <clears throat> Many days? No, no, no. Last couple of minutes. Well, let's, let's just say minutes. Last couple of minutes? Mm -hmm. TV magic, you know? TV magic. Boom. Yeah. In the last couple of minutes, mm. we built four fender flares. You know how many hours I have into making a frame like this? <laughs> Seriously, so it blows my mind that we can actually stress steel like that here in the shop. Dude, look at this right here. Is I dreamed of this yeah. when, I was, when I was making Every my frame. How you feel about that? Damn, that's crazy. Man. <laughs> oh man. That's so cool, cool man. Cool. This whole corner right here, this whole section's up, and that's kind of what I was trying to tell you oh, earlier. Okay. If you wanted to see, if you stand out front and eyeball the windshield frame, it has a, the lower half has an up in it. Mm. We might have to we might have to change its thinking. Yeah, for sure. But we have uh, a few issues right now, but now we have to figure out how to solve them. If, what's going on right now is we're all just pushing really, really hard and trying to get done as much as we possibly can in the shortest amount of time. Because the Scout's windshield frame was really bent, we had to salvage a straight one off of a donor vehicle. But it's taking a lot of time to get the fit just right, and time isn't something we have a lot of. Now that the windshield is installed, Aaron wants me to build a custom dash before he gets back. I guess I'll sleep when I'm dead. This thing's gonna be hauling ass through the desert and up and over rocks and twisting. I mean, with all of this extra structure, it's gonna definitely strengthen it up. I think you did a snazzy job there, sir. Hey, man, thanks a lot. You got lucky or you know what you're doing? Well, I'm gonna go with luck this time. <laughs> what do you see, Josh? I'm just looking at what I did. See the extra I have to trim? Yeah. I think we should wait on the exhaust, though. Yeah. Because they might get close. We have those link arms to deal with, too, the, the upper links. Yeah, look at that. Well, Aaron's on his way back from SEMA, first day back. I think he'll be stoked on what we got done, but with only a week and a half left. There's always wishing we got more done, but we're, we're here where we're here, and we're, we're at where we're at. How are y'all doing, guys? Morning. How you doing? Joe Blast? Yeah. We were planning on doing it again next year and maybe involving, because uh, we didn't Us? break. Yeah, well, yes, yeah, so <laughs> actually. For, first of all, we plan, plan on having vehicles there. Cool. And so and so we plan on being a presence there as a, as a company instead of just paying bills. But anyway, we, ha we definitely had a good time. But yeah. but back to reality. Well, here we are. Yeah, we definitely. We have a uh, main hoop in and, and yeah, some I saw, I saw it. Everything looks good. I think the landings are, are excellent on that. Then I saw it looks like the AC bucket's in. It, so it I assume y'all yep. you know, are making the mounts for it. Already done. Already done. Okay, so yeah. AC's in. AC's yeah. in. Keep working on the cage section. It looks super great. In fact, it looks so tight. Have y'all been able to pop the roof back on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Off. KOH is sneaking up on us fast, girls. Our list is so long, it's scary. We're just trying to keep our heads down and cross things off. Jeremy's trying to finish the cage up while I'm finishing the steering box. But everything keeps getting moved around to make room for the suspension. It's just a ton of work. 
So the next big hoorah moment is when it has shocks, when it's got cool carriers, bypasses, bump stops, and we get the axles located underneath the truck with the links, then we'll be able to move forward and connect them, and the truck will actually be able to sit on its own. There you go. Hey, bud, you mind jacking up the front end for me? I want to check something out. OK. So I'm looking at the front end of the Scout, and I'm thinking at full articulation, we're going to have some clearance problems. So we jacked up one side of the Scout to simulate the uneven terrain. And sure enough, it looks close. Ouch. Well, let's see how the fender fits. I mean, if it's, if it was how we had it before, it's, it's broke. <laughs> Holy crap. Normally rock crawlers with these size tires and don't have this, fenders. Yeah, and cheap don't, metal on. don't have fenders. It's yeah. just a two, it's a buggy essentially. As you can see, it's way into all of our sheet metal. Come on, why? So. What we do is we start cutting until they fit, and then we go make, to those. Then go backwards. It's times like these when you learn not to get too attached to something you poured your blood, sweat, and tears into. So we're going to have to make some sacrifices, and it'll have to be these fancy fenders that took forever to build. I mean, Jeremy and I practically killed ourselves making these things. You can do mine, too. I don't know if we have to. Oh, yeah. You have to. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a little discouraging. Sorry, dude. Can write the Dude. How did that lift take you? A day or two, at least. Okay, a long time, a long time. The front, the front fascia and these two fenders, yeah, it took me a couple weeks, thanks. Appreciate that. I mean, if we just left them the way they were, they would have just gotten ripped off instantly. So we got 23 days to get this thing to the King of Hammers. It's feeling good to have it attached. Uh, I'm happy with the outcome, actually. How's the do it? Now we have to listen to him and figure out exactly what happened and, you know. You know, we are a touch concerned with uh, fuel. When we were out testing, it was eating some fuel up pretty bad. And we had a 22 gallon cell. We didn't really quite know what the fuel mileage was because we didn't have uh, a tested vehicle. Oh, on the fuel? You want to check with the, the calibration? I'm going to set zero. Right now, we're currently in a insane dust storm. Walk to your left a little bit. Uh, I can't look up. Green screen, when we get back. I've got my eyes closed. Yeah. Is it like, just, is there sand in your face right now? Me, yeah. You know, I don't think you can use any of this. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm farting, it's just blowing right in your faces. Yeah. I just Ray Charles the out of this. <laughs> Smell it? I do. It's kind of like. <laughs> it's like. 